Now let's get to that forecast. Of course, we are weather aware here, and I always hate when we get the the threat risk overnight when folks might be sleeping. Yeah, it's, it's always tough because if you don't have that phone turned on and you don't have it unmuted, you're mm -hmm. not going to wake up to those warnings. And you got to think now because when you get those warnings, remember you're going to be sound asleep and what are mm -hmm. you going to do? So sometimes put the shoes next to the bed, the flashlight, mm -hmm. kind of have that helmet or maybe have that area you're going to go just in case we do get a warning. Tonight it is beautiful right now. It is super warm. I mean, it's early April, right? But it feels like it might be June or July out there with temperatures in the 70s still. But we want you to stay weather aware, especially right during the morning hours, right before sunrise. Those strong storms, 3 a.m. to about, I'd say 9 a.m., the strong line. The main threats, damaging straight line winds, isolated tornado risk. Though I'll tell you, the tornado risk is definitely trending down a little bit, but the wind threat might be trending up just a hair. It's going to stay windy. Here's the thing, too. Even if you don't see a thunderstorm that's severe tomorrow, the winds are going to be gusty all day. This is a strong front. The temperature is going to plunge and cold air is going to be rushing into the region over the next 24 to 36 hours, so it will be quite chilly. So the storms we're watching aren't to our west. They're actually to our southwest, so the ones now near Atlanta, those are the ones that are traveling up 85 and will be here in the morning hour. So here's the latest future cast southwest winds. It's really warm out there. We'll go through the overnight hours uh, going past midnight now, and by 2 a.m. we start to see some showers showing up, but the main action really starts to move in around 3 or 4. These are the storms. Notice them right here. Not many coming in from the west. They're down here over the upstate. They start traveling up and look at that big surge of moisture by 4 a.m. And then look at that line. It's starting to look like it's going to be more of what we call bow echo. Looks like a bow and arrow. If I were to take a bow like that and arch it out, the arrow would be pointing that direction. That would be strong straight line wind. So this is an indication of pretty strong winds. And you can see it starting to line up here east of Charlotte by 6 a.m. <coughs> Excuse me, pushing off to the east fairly quickly. And you can see that bow segment kind of getting more enhanced there. So that's a very strong indication of strong straight line winds. The main front is right here. It doesn't arrive until the middle of the day. Might kick off a stray shower north, but once it pushes through, strong westerly winds all day long. So the tornado parameter actually is trended down a little bit. That's why I think the tornado threat overall is a little bit more diminished. Now, later in the morning, it starts to go back up to the east, and that's an area in eastern North Carolina, which might have a more, uh, more of a tornado risk during the day tomorrow. So the timing kind of breaks down like this. Between about 3 a.m., and 9 a.m. That would be our main threat for high winds. If there is going to be a tornado, it would be in that same time frame. So remember, overnight, if we get a watch, a watch means the ingredients are there for something to happen. It's over a several hour period. If we get a warning, that means the ingredients have come together and we've got a, a, a tornado or a severe thunderstorm warning. I like using cupcakes here to kind of give you that illustration, but that's what they mean. The watch is over several hours. And remember, good time to download our WCNC app right now. Scan that QR code with your phone. You can get push notifications on your phone. And also, if there are warnings, we'll be streaming on there and you can watch us live on your phone. So once the front pushes through tomorrow, it gets chilly, gusty winds throughout the day blowing in and look at this. There's actually going to be snow in the North Carolina mountains by tomorrow night into Thursday. We'll actually see a frost or freeze potential likely Friday, Saturday and Sunday morning. But the winds, they'll be a story throughout the day tomorrow. This is even outside of the thunderstorm. So strong winds throughout the day and the evening hours and even into Thursday, it'll be a breezy day. So these will be chilly winds over the next few days. So once the front moves through, don't be surprised if you still see some wind blowing some branches around or some of that lawn furniture. So make sure you secure that and keep it that way for the next several days. Your guy roofing seven day forecast. Once the storms move out tomorrow, things get calmer. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s, but check out that chill by Saturday and Sunday morning. We're likely going to see patchy frost, but next week we start to warm right back up and we'll be back near 80, if not the upper 70s for most of next week. All right.